What in the heck do we have going on here? Oh, I know this car. This is Rick's car. You can tell. He's got the uh, sick custom Simpsons. With the Hoosiers going on. Rick, explain to us what's happening right now. I mean, the best way to put it is things escalate quickly around here. You're not wrong. So, what we got going on here, a little bit of a unique deal, what we're calling the uh, Super Stage 6. Oh. Going on the old Rick Mav here. So, started out with the Rick Mav, you know, going from a 2014 XRS 101 horsepower, picked this up, 172 stock. Immediately put the three RWI set up on there. 160 plus horsepower. I was like, okay, that's pretty sweet. Then I got the itch for a little more. Went to the old X85 setup, pushing 230 plus. Yeah, that's their E85 tune. Yeah, that was pretty good. Then here's the problem. Drove beast mode. Oh, tough break. And again, things escalated quickly. Here we are. So what this setup's gonna be is uh, Nick's old stage six turbo. Boom. And uh, What's pretty neat is we're putting a 2020 uh, X3 exhaust manifold on this. So the 2020 exhaust manifold has a bigger AR um, because the exhaust manifold has the turbine housing integrated into it. And uh, basically what that's gonna do is give us a little bit more top end. So this thing should fly pretty good. Classic be, super stage six, yeah, man. It's gonna be pretty neat. Right. And uh, I've always liked like a sleeper looking setup. So I mean, besides the exhaust and seats and stuff, I mean, it doesn't and look these, like- And uh, these, that's a new addition yeah, by the way. Those are pretty cool, thanks ERP. And uh, yeah, excited to see what it's gonna do. Should be pretty neat. Yeah, I like so, going fast in a straight line, so right. that's kind of my thing, so. What we're doing right now is bolting this bad boy up and getting some baseline runs. Uh, with the Hoosiers on our closed course, zero to 60 with the X85 tune. So Rick's car is pretty much bolt-on stuff so he has two evo weights and he's got their x85 e85 tune which is sort of like the hot e85 tune i think it's 22 pounds of boost yeah, or something like that pounds. and then he's got a uh, full exhaust captain's choice and other than that stock air filter it's basically a basically a stock car no crazy clutch mods and it still rips yeah runs really good like i'm i'm almost debating if i want to go through with this because of how good it runs and how reliable it's been but what if you could make more power and be just as reliable that's the thing i mean i've seen you know what you've done with beast mode and stuff and it's been a uh, pretty good to you so yeah, treated I've, bad for a long time yeah so i've i've got confidence that this is going to still maintain all reliability that it has and uh going to have a lot more power too so excited to see what's going to do like i said kind of a unique setup you haven't seen a, a lot of people doing stuff like this yet so Boom. pretty cool to do some testing on it. All right, well, we'll show you guys the uh, takeoff turbo that we got. It's not new, unfortunately, it's a takeoff, but it's still gonna look real good. And uh, we'll report back with some info on Rick Zero to 60 in just a sec. Rick, so we just did some runs on the closed course. Unfortunately, all film happened to be destroyed while we were out there. Tough yeah, break. Yeah, Actually tough lost break. it in a boating accident. Yeah. So it's been there's been a lot of rain lately. So yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm curious. So I wasn't there. I don't know the numbers. I don't know what happened. These guys seem excited. They came back and said, listen, we gotta tell you something. Okay. All right. Zero to sixty. Yep. Three point four seven. What? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. 3.47. Serious? Holy. And, and not only, crap. tell them the 0 to 10. Do you remember the fast beast mode run 0 to 10? Yeah, 1, 3. No, 0 to 10. Oh, yeah, 0. 0.3 something. 3, 6. Yeah, yeah something 3, 6. Like that? Yeah. yeah. 0. 0.32. Whoo! <laughs> How is that possible? She is moving, dude. It was moving. Know, yeah, I don't know if it's this little bit cooler weather. I don't really know the conditions you guys were no, testing we'll, in. We'll flash up the wow. screenshot of that run right now. Yeah. But anyway. Wow, Rick Stage 5 is real. Yeah. So. Explain what else happened while we were out there on the different, closed course. Different run, dude. Well, it was. I, I didn't see it, but it I, was this run that it did. Oh, it was that this it did run. It, yeah. Okay. Um, so I was kind of in awe because I stabbed it and I felt something a little weird. Okay. Like 
Okay. The steering just got a little bit lighter. Okay. Pulled the tires, dude. Pulled them big. What? Like a six inch off the ground, carried it probably 10 foot wheelie. What? What is going on here? I don't know if I want to go through with this deal anymore, dude. It's, <laughs> it's, it's stupid good for what it is. What is happening? Yeah, it was crazy. I threw my arms up, I went, <laughs> all, yeah, the film was lost on the boating accident, unfortunately. Anyway, wow. wish wow. I would've had it on video, but. Tough break there. It did a oh. wheelie like six inches tall. I mean, those and just went. Incredible. Yeah. Well, man, I mean, that bodes well. Obviously, we're going to be adding power, so it's just a fast machine. Yeah. It's a Wednesday build. She's ready to rip. Yeah, she's a Wednesday build. <laughs> Having said that, though, we're uh, almost ready to put this big turbo on there, so we'll show you guys that in a second when it's time. And, uh, yeah, things are looking good for the Rick Ooh. machine. It's, <laughs> it's getting serious. All right, we're doing the hot rod cool down here of Rick's machine. So yeah. we got a lot of stuff going on. Doug, explain what's happening. We are, so I, I guess I don't know how much you guys ex we ex explained about what's going on. Super today. stage six, everybody knows. Super stage six, okay. So yeah, we're tearing Rick's machine down. And we're gonna put the super stage six on. So Rick's over there doing the fuel pump because there's a fuel pump upgrade for stage six. We got the fan running, trying to cool down the engine and manifold a little bit. So I'm gonna dive in, get the old turbo and manifold off. We're gonna swap them out and then see what this thing will do. Like, it could turn a crazy number. Right, so. so uh, we may or may not have a launch control tune for this thing. We don't really know yet. But what we do know is that last time we did stage six, uh, you guys saw it, and a lot of people saw it. That was the six cents deal. So yep. we all know that you need to have a new fuel pump. We all know that you need to have a new wastegate actuator. And we all know that Evo carries all those things and you can get them all from sidebysideblockparts.com. So this is what Evo sent us. And we also have the compressor housing off uh, beast mode. This is all the stuff that you need. So high flow fuel pump, three bar injector. You have a uh, adapter for your new fuel pump to add a relay. You got your tile freaking wastegate actuator. You got a new oil, was that an inlet to the That's oil on the, yeah, the turbo? Line for the turbo. Boom, so all the goodies. Already got the injectors in it we need, right? So we don't have yeah. to do injectors. And it's got the bove and it's got the uh, chooch tube, all the good stuff. Yeah. Show the people what they want to see, dude. All right, yeah, go get the box, Doug. All right, Rick's working on the freaking fuel pump, putting the old stage six unit in the stock housing, and Duggo, oh, there he is, Duggo. Oh yeah. All right, so, man. We got for us. We, we got the juice. I apologize, I did open this already. <laughs> we got a little excited. I had, I had to look at it, because this is, this is pretty cool, so. So we happened to know some people that were getting rid of some stuff, and we said, hey, we'll take that. These are hard to get. We looked into getting a new one. New one's back order, couldn't get a new one, pulled some strings, got a used one with a few miles on it, in great shape. Yep. And here it is. This is what makes the stage six a super, super, super stage, stage six. six. So that right there is a stainless steel 2020 X3 Turbo RR manifold. Yep. So maybe it doesn't look a lot different, you know, right off the bat, but like Nick mentioned, it's stainless steel now as opposed to cast iron. So that's nice. And also where the power comes from is basically this housing here is bigger. It has a larger AR on the turbine side and AR basically it stands for area over radius it's just a way to describe the size of this thing and basically a larger number is going to flow more make a little more top end power maybe not spool quite as quickly maybe not you know be quite as responsive a smaller number is the opposite spool up real quick real responsive maybe not make as much top end power but we're looking for top end power in the rick unit yeah here's the thing we're going to put the pop pop in this we're going to get rid of that lag and yep. leave hard yeah, pop, pop, tune takes care of everything. And she's going to rip. And obviously, so, you know, we've got some experience now with the 2020 with Cletus's machine, and it doesn't spool slowly. It's yeah. not like the 2020 manifold makes it laggy. So this is just overall a real good unit. Yeah, and so, Rick, grab the Stage 6 Turbo over there. There it is right there. I've just been cleaning it off, and uh, it was sitting in a box for a little while. But there she is. So this is a Stage 6 Evo uh, Turbo, which does fit into both... Uh, 17 through 19 and then 2020 manifolds. Yes, so this sir. is a four millimeter larger compressor wheel than a 17 through 19 and a two millimeter bigger compressor wheel than a uh, 20. So you're still making a bunch of power and the exhaust turbine's different. We put the two together. And yeah, we've not done this yet. <coughs> that is pow pow right there. That's pow pow. Sucker's gonna rip. <laughs> Big gonna time rip. rippage. <laughs> 
I'm really excited to see that go in the car, Rick. So having said that, that's together. Right, we didn't actually <laughs> test that. That was the first dry run. <laughs> so Rick, tell the people what you got going on over here, man. Fuel pump? Yeah, let's talk about it real quick. Oh, you got this uh, big fuel pump going in the sending unit here. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. Yeah, so we already have it in. So this is the stock fuel pump. Yeah. And then we put in the equivalent, I think it's what, a 250 liter per hour, 255, I something like so. that. And that just goes right in place of the stock one. And uh, working on that now, obviously took it out to make it happen. And then Doug goes in here working on getting this uh, stock Manny and Turbo out. Yes, sir. So no big deal. You guys have seen a lot of this stuff before. We're really trying to focus on this thing being a super stage six. I'm really describing the power more than describing the install. We've done a couple installs already, but this is it, man. The Evolution branded stage six on the 2020 manifold. We're calling it the super stage six. Super stage six. <laughs> Okay, so we got the Rick 2019 manifold out right here, and we got the new 2020 manifold right there. So, as you can see, overall pretty similar, but hopefully you can see this on video. The area that's changed is this right here. So, if you kind of look, you know, in there compared to this, you see that's a little fatter. The area is just a little, a little bit larger, and they're hard to get side by side to really compare, but maybe that helps a little bit. So yeah, and it's stainless, obviously. It'll stay looking nicer. Let's see if we... Maybe a little difference from that angle as well. It's hard to see, but it doesn't take a lot. A little bit makes a big difference, man. Yeah, so Evo's done some testing on this and has shown some real significant power gains switching to that manifold. And right. the 2020s are tuning up yeah, super gonna, good. Like You're gonna run hard even yeah. with your you know, basic Free R2, and that's going to be available for them. They're going to rip hard. Hard, dude. So we'll get her in there, see what she runs like. All right. Are fuel you... pumps in, bud. Yep, fuel pumps all back together. We've got the plug and play relay kit all installed, so that's all buttoned up. Boom. Just got to change the fuel pump fuse. Um, what's Doug working on back there? Doug is working getting that Manny on, dude. How's it looking there, Doug? She looks good, man. Wow, you can see the stainless from here. It's making power. We should have really probably smoothed it all out and polished it but you know, what do you mean no time. internally no externally externally yeah but yeah you're not wrong it's okay take though it back out and do that. it's Man. been a while since i've taken it to a side-by-side -side show so <laughs> as in it never was. <laughs> i feel like you know what sleeper mode the better i guess now that you know we're gonna show this to potentially 100,000 people sleeper sleeper mode's pretty much over <laughs> But when you go to your local port here on dirt drags and set the track record again and beat people with more mods, boom. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Tough break. <laughs> real tough break. Everything's going good in there though, Doug? Yeah, man, everything's uh, bolting up real nicely. So. Nice, dude, nice, nice, nice. So it's not a crazy bit of mods we gotta do here and everything's really accessible through this hole, so that's good. Yeah, these are pretty easy to work on. I do enjoy that about the X3s. This area is all pretty, Pretty accessible. Bolts are all pretty easy to get at. Heck yeah, dude. Well, I guess uh, at some point soon here, it's probably gonna be time to put this bad boy in. So I did attach the uh, tile wastegate actuator, which is hashtag billet. And uh, yeah, there's that. So I guess we didn't compare it to the stock turbo that came out of there. Rick, grab your stock turbo. Let's do a little comparo here on the bench. A little bench comparo. So this is a stage six Evo big turbo, and this is a stock 19 turbo. So you might not immediately see the differences, but we're looking at a four millimeter larger compressor wheel on the stage six, as opposed to the stock one. And you can kind of tell just by looking at it, it's bigger overall. And then the uh, exhaust turbine's different as well. It's a bit bigger on this boy. And uh, yeah, not really the greatest comparison in the world. But anyway, good unit overall. And it's cast with a little Evo thing in it, so that's how you know it's good. I'm excited for you, Rick. It's gonna be pretty wild. Looking forward to it. Well, Dougie's just putting the finishing touches on the old turbo kit. I haven't looked in here in a while, but I oh can. yeah, it's she's all in. in there, man. So we got it all hooked up. We just gotta, you know, lock it down, tighten a couple of clamps, and set the wastegate. Set, yeah, set the actuator crack pressure. And nice, man. And ready to rip. I've been doing some tire swaps for some other stuff over here, and Rick wants us to see this custom laptop. ThinkPad dude from Moto4. 
eBay Deluxe. It looks like it's a not even a widescreen, like a four by three it's ratio. Like I don't know, it's a widescreen. Pretty good. You know, talk crap, but I used one of these at work for a long time. This brings me right back, dude. It's pretty decent, I mean. The Dow days. Basically just used for the old tuning stuff, whether it be the Mustang or using my map tuner for the X3, but. Oh, it's got Windows 10 too, look yeah. at that. Running hard. Refurb Deluxe from eBay. Nothing but the best. Can't complain, man. So everything's going good, dude. Really excited to get this thing started up for the first time. Hear that big stage six turbo roar. And see what she does. It'd be pretty cool. Hopefully I don't lose my uh, precious turbo noise I had on that stock one, you know. No, it's gonna be louder. This thing screamed pretty good with that stock one, so. Hoping maybe she just goes louder. I mean, four extra pounds of boost or more, it's gonna be screaming. Looking forward to that. Oh yeah. Well, we just synced the old map tuner up with the map tuner server. You guys have seen us do that about a million times. Rick got his stage six tune. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hook this bad boy up to the X3 with the cable and flash the ECU. So you guys have seen this happen before. We always like to cover this just because people ask all the time, how do we do this? How can I do this? What does this do? How can I do it? Well, if you're watching and you wanna know this, this is how. So on the 19s and up, the connector for the ECU is under the dash here. On the 18s and below, it's under the glove box. So add power to the car. Map tuner recognizes it. Go to programming, select your tune, and then you're ready to go. So Rick's got all the freaking tunes in the world on that thing. Stage six, E85, download the tune. Do you wish to program the car? Yes. And then make sure the key's on and let her rip. And that's it. So in just a few short minutes, we're gonna be firing this bad boy up for the first time. How do you feel about it? I'm pretty excited. And uh, just one other thing, any of you guys in Southeast Michigan or in the Thumb or Ohio, any of you guys need to get your X3, your Razor's tuned. I got my own map tuner that I keep on me. So you guys don't have to drive up here to Auburn, Michigan to get your guys' stuff reflashed. Shoot me an email, sidebysideblog.com at gmail.com. We'll get y'all hooked up. In and out real fast. No Boom. big deal. Oh. Boom. Thanks, Rick. Better than sending it in. Yep. You gave me that adjustable weight. Uh, yeah, where's it at? Oh, adjustable weight. Cool. Mm. Rick's Sitting making that box over there. Rick's making a couple clutch changes here, so we're just prying open the primary and putting some of the Evo's fully adjustable weights in. And uh, Doug's got a little surprise for you, Rick. I think you're really going to enjoy this. I got, yeah, you know. Being little, the parts manager. A little right? mod that I think you're really going to enjoy. So one of the things I noticed at the last race day is that there was just a lot of all black X3s. Yeah. And you know, it gets to be an issue because you can't tell them apart. Is it a sticker, dude? And when you're smoking everybody. Is it a sticker, dude? When you're smoking. I've seen the sticker. When you're smoking everybody Doug, on I've race seen the day. Sticker, okay. I want, I want people to know who it is. I think they're tasteful. They're just small. Just small little stickers. Small little stickers, Rick. I've seen no them. big deal. What the heck? No what? big no, deal. No. Listen, <laughs> they're gonna look great. We'll just take Probably. the Can-Am off. Put those on. Like that? Or something? Take the Can-Am. Put them where the Can-Ams go. Look at that, dude. That's freaking lit, dude. Come on, Rick. That's a tight sticker. I mean, I don't really like it over that, but considering <laughs> there's a Can-Am decal right there, I mean, we could probably do something like this even. Look, How many look. times do you need to tell that it's a Can-Am? Look at that. Look, no, put right it back right? over the Can-Am, though. Yeah, That's where it's going. Dude. <laughs> they could be temporary for race day down here. No, it's a full-on commitment. I want commitment. one for my truck, dude. <laughs> Listen, here's the thing. I have more of these. Ooh! So, <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> can we put it where the Can-Am one is, Rick? Uh, can we get this Can-Am one off? Or? Absolutely. I've taken mine off. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow. I yeah. thought okay. that was going to be a lot more of a fight than that. <laughs> Tough break, guys. You lose again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll gladly do that right now. Sorry, Doug's paddle, but I know where my time is going. Are you serious? Yeah, those are tight. They're All right. Work. Kind of sick, man. Work. All right, no problem. Done. Nick's working on stickers. It is time to time light to the fire. Check my work here. Just gonna hope coolant doesn't spray all over the here place. We go. Exhaust leaks everywhere. Rick freaking out. <laughs> oh yeah. How easy did that work? Like fire out? seriously, man. That's smooth. Sounds good. Gosh. I love the exhaust on this thing, man. It sounds like, pretty good. 
probably my favorite exhaust. Heck yeah. So Rick's got the weights in. We're going to leave the clutch cover off and make it a little easier to do some tuning. Wow. Sounds great, man. She's ready to rip. So we'll check it for leaks, make sure everything's good, and uh, send this thing. Battle Dad. Super stage six. Oh no. Bring it out, Ricky. Oh man. First time rolling out of Battlefield Industry is Super Stage Six. She's coming. Oh yeah. So we're gonna hit up the old closed course on the uh, Padelos, or not Padelos, sorry, the Slickadors. It's got the fresh sticks. Let's see what it does. Heck yeah, dude. Looks good, Rick. It's exciting stuff. So what's the plan here? You just going straight to the closed course with the draggy and- Yeah, probably you know, warm it up. This guy's not looking too promising, so I'd like to get some- Some data get before this, this Ford goes down out here. All right, so Rick's helmeted up, heading out to the closed course. We sort of did an educated guess on the clutching, so we don't really know if that's going to be good or not. Yeah. But we're going to defend our way out there and uh, see what this bad boy will do. I'm excited to see this thing rip, man. Yeah, been a long time coming for this idea. I had the stuff for that Super Stage 6 has been out for a long time. Yeah. Uh, back ordered and we were able to get one used, so. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of stuff, so like this little project really hasn't been on the top of my mind, but as we're doing it today, Seeing the numbers that ran before and then considering what we've just done, like this thing is gonna be sneaky fast. All right, dudes. Been working on the Rick map a little bit. Because this is sort of a new tune, new deal, we had to steal the boost gauge off beast mode. We had to tap it into the intake. We had to make sure it was making the boost. Turns out it's making the boost. Rick runs it on the closed course. Again, unfortunately, the uh, second boating accident in a day it's a real shocker but right that's how it goes sometimes so so it ran break. it ran a bit quicker to 60 which is good and it did it in a lot less distance which is I mean, also that, good we knew going into it that there wasn't going to be a huge gain you know at the lower speeds or under right. 60 just given the size of the turbo and the the you know, ar fold so where it's really going to shine is in the longer distances which top end power we, mostly do or I mostly do with this is you know not zero to 60 runs but 300 500 foot so right boom that's where we're hoping to see the big gains so what we're gonna I do we're gonna get there. throwing the freaking horns on it threw a new belt on it we're gonna run it in the dirt so last time we were here with a 3RWI which is pump gas she ran a yep. 474 that's quick yeah yeah no it was a really good running car man but hopefully we can see something deeper in the fours Sub four five. I'm thinking Maybe. like four thirty nine. Four thirty nine. I would love to In see dirt. It four thirty nine. It ran. I'm not a, thinking, dude. I'm just ready to drive. I'll let you guys <laughs> hypothesize about that. It ran a three forty four on the pavement. So, how much is left on the table when you go in the dirt? Who knows? I think the dirt is going to be where it's going to shine, man. I think that's where it's going to be. The zero to ten, you know, not critical on the dirt because you've got some spinning going on. So. Right. All right, let's do it. Godspeed. All right, boys and girls, we have here the side-by-side -side blog parts manager, Rick's car, going out first time on dirt. Hindsight, we obviously should have ran this thing on dirt before. We didn't. We were really excited to get this going, and we uh, unfortunately made a little error there. But he's in the dirt now. He's in the launch spot. He's going to back up in. making power it makes power it makes power so i watched you know you guys run out here a little bit earlier today with you know lesser cars come on talk crap about the xrfds but uh whew, yeah you could you could see a big difference there so yeah. i'm curious to see what that number is she explodes off the line and like rick was saying man we're really trying to do this for race day which is a 500 foot track so if we can march people down on the big end that's what we'll have to do yeah right right and let's not forget Pop pop tune's coming with this I thing. I mean, it looked like it left pretty good. Yep. So a little pop pop tune on top of all that. Boys, yeah. boys, okay. What up? Okay. She looked like she ran real good. 
What are you guys guessing? I said 439. That was conservative. Whew, you were out of the throttle pretty early, man. I don't want to guess too low, though, and then just be disappointed. Yeah, just so. say the number. I'm going to say 447. 403. <laughs> oh! Almost in the threes. Wow. Dang. And it's wow. verified, too. Let's look at that. Wow, dude. His 0 to 10 on the street is not much better. Wow. Holy smokes. She's burning. Okay, it's a rocket, man. That's super fast. She's burning. Here. She's moving super fast. Like I was having a hard time doing those numbers Ooh. with beast mode. Like 390, 380 was where I was at. Dipping into the threes on the dirt is like a real Whoa. accomplishment. Whoa. And I mean, you're on the edge. I'm All gonna right. have to try and get there. I think yeah. you can do it. That's the bottom line. I don't think that was a great launch. And I also think your tires, a little hard. 10 pounds. Let, wow. Let's take some pounds out of these things and Just see if we can get her in the air, threes, get dude. It to stick a little more, get that three. Yep. Woo -hoo yep. Hoo. Good job, Rick. Proud of you. All right, boys. Run her again, dude. Will he make it in the threes? I think he's going to make it into the threes, man, for sure. To just make one hit and run a 403, yeah. he's going to go threes, no doubt. Yeah, so we took maybe a pound or two of air out. We did the counting method. We took 15 seconds 15 of air seconds out. 15 seconds of air out? That's going to be the ticket. Yeah. She's eating. It sounds great. Wow. We'll I don't see. I know if that'll be the run. I don't know. It didn't. I don't think he got out of the hole quite as good. Yeah, we'll see. But could be wrong. All right, so that last one was a 407. He's just going to run it again. Jeez. Did it look like it popped the front end, or am I crazy? better that time for sure yeah there's I think that's gonna be the number there is a rut here that is perfect yep like when i was running the xrsds it ran yep. two tenths quicker in that she rut. looked great there man super stage six bro it's where it's at yeah which will be regular stage six for all the 2020 people right 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 which <laughs> Tough is break pretty wild pretty yeah. wild he's coming back he's okay he's coming back that's good 402 oh, 402 yeah. come on man <laughs> what are you launching at? How many RPM? Uh, 22. Maybe give her that little neutral belt cool yeah, off. Of yeah, the yeah. Too. You got it. There you go. All right, we're trying to get the right number here. Come on, baby. He ripped. Ooh, he was out of it pretty quick there. He got out of the throttle before the hill. That might have been it, man. I didn't like the little that might have set off the timer. Yeah, it's true. If he moves, we'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Cooler on it too. Oh wow, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. He's not looking confident. I don't really know. I can't see his face. <laughs> 404, boy. Come yeah. on. We're right on Ooh. the edge. Well. We Let's could, let her cool uh, down a bit. Let her cool down. Let her cool down, yeah. We'll think about it. Maybe more air. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. A little bit more air out of the tires. How's see it just... This, see what it looks like. What this intercoolers. Rick, you have this thing on there? Did you put that on here? You oh, see that? that? Yeah, it's interesting. Did you put that on there? Yeah. That's, Let's rip it off, dude. That looks like the Chokinator 200, be, dude. Yeah, just like keeping dust and stuff out of there. Yeah, it's... Do a little free see, see you later, dude. Ooh. I think for for our purposes here, that's that's the play. Yeah, you don't want that. Just get all that crap out yep. of there. Nice free flow. All of the air coolers doing an okay job. I mean, it's not super hot out here today, and it's not like we're duning, but yeah. All right, just a little more air out of the tires too. Yeah, think? a little more air, maybe out of the fronts as well. So when they land, they're digging. I don't really know the answer. I don't know the answer. Yeah. yeah. There's an answer there somewhere, though. Right. So what do you think, Rick? How's it running? Super hard? Yeah, it's got some serious pull to it. I mean, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I'm super happy with it. Yeah. Flirting with threes in the dirt is serious. Yeah. It took a long time for anybody's car to get that crazy. Like when Steve yeah. was first doing the nitrous out here, 
when he first hit threes, it was like the world was going to end. We were so right. excited. And just to come out and just bah, hardcore. Yes. Jesus, scooting. Pretty good setup, man. I mean, times are changing, man. <laughs> People are getting faster. No doubt about that. All right, we just made the mods here. So Rick was running one of these uh, things that sort of keep dust and, and, and snow out of the intake. And the entire car was breathing through that little thing on top. I said this. No. Get that out That's of there. Gone. That's gone. We got a little bit more air out of the tires. It's had a little cool down. It's going to have a little more air. Rick took a pee. I think that helped. Yep. He also burped twice. <laughs> so don't know where that's at really. This is it. This is the run. Yeah. 397. I'm getting excited. 397. 394, dude. That's where it's at. <laughs> Woo! And Doug's really just going hard. I think this is still the right lane. Yeah, this is the proper lane. Just sort of kicking the, de the debris out. The dirt, dust, and debris are gone. Yeah. Power broom yeah, power broom would be sweet. Hi, right, Eric. Right here, buddy. Ladies rolling the whole lane. That's a good lane, man. True race day style. That's a good lane. Come on, baby. Why don't you come forward and go left a little bit? I think he's okay there. Ah, it's too late. It's not gonna light until he's out here. Yeah, true. Okay. All right, Rick. This is the number. This is it. Woo! Come on, baby. It's almost like she touched a little rev limiter off yeah. the line. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know about what that one. What was that? <sighs> Man. I don't think that was it. Dang. I don't think that was it. Sometimes you know, sometimes you don't. On this one, I don't know. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Hoping we're wrong. Oh no. He's doing the doing it again symbol. Line him up, Doggo. Line him up. He's kicking the dirt. Oh, he's got. Okay. He doesn't see that. That's gonna be it, that's it. No, keep it, dude, keep it. Oh no, it fell out, tough break. All right, pack in the lane. Gosh, I wonder how, how low that was. I'll bet it's close. Yeah. What was that last one, Rick? Oh, one? Oh my god. <laughs> Tough break. Come on. That was it. Come on, baby. That was it. Come on. No burble. She ran hard. Clean run. He was definitely out of the throttle a little earlier, you know, on the hill. So I don't know if he's getting out right at 60 or not, but we'll see. He's excited. He's coming back with power. Oh my gosh, he's bumping his fist, dude. I'm zoomed all the way in. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was it, boys. Yes. Oh, that was yes. it. That one sounded good. That one looked good. Except that was the run. That was it. 393. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my man. gosh. Nice, dude. That was it, dude. Nice. The three club out here is an exclusive club. And you're now in it, little bubba. What's the membership cost? Well, about one X3 <laughs> payment? Okay. About $32,000 altogether. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Man. Yeah, that's only the fourth uh, fourth machine to put down a documented three. Wow. Man, out that's, here. we've run a lot of stuff. That's wild, dude. Let's see it. Let's see the number. So yeah, if you click it, 393, you see all the stuff. Oh, what happened there? That's the wrong one. There we go, 393. Wow. Epic, dude. Epic. 0.440 to 10? This sucker is freaking ripping. What the Man, hell, I'm, dude? What the hell? It's great. <laughs> 
And here's the thing. We didn't talk about this yet, but there's more stuff coming for this machine. Yeah, oh, we'll, yeah, this we'll is nothing. We'll cover that at a later date, but uh, some supporting mods for this thing to help everything keep it running smooth. Um, those will be here in a few weeks. So this is going to be a weapon. It's going to be a weapon. Wow. I like that. Listen, I'm proud of you guys, man. Oh. I'm really proud of you guys. Whew. Overall, Thank you, guys. you ran the three. That's, yeah, that's, I mean, back of my mind, that's really what I was hoping to accomplish. So like we were talking, you know, doesn't necessarily spend a whole lot of time out on pavement so if i can come out here and run high threes in the dirt where i'm actually going to be using the thing pretty dang content with that so seriously man that's pretty wild that's pretty wild like that's a really fast and the fact that it's still a hundred percent trail worthy yeah. you know it's not oh, yeah. strapped down nothing like it's right off the trail right out here running the yeah. high three so in terms of vehicles that have done that probably only one other one steve's nx3 yeah yeah i mean the other two machines are like you know beast mode and the yxz obviously both run drag numbers, machines but they're sort of drag machines like a trail unit running in three second club is impressive sitting, man yeah. impressive so, like thank you guys for helping hey. me out on this thing thank really you rick it. of course awesome man to have some good friends who like supporting what you do and the crazy ideas and Having a stage six turbo that they let you throw on your machine. <laughs> oh, cool, and, man. Uh, of course, Evolution Power Sports. Putting some packages like this together, man. Stuff runs really good. So, really appreciate you guys and what you've done for us. So, Boom. Heck yeah. And when the pop pop tune comes, dude. Oh, my God. Woo! Oh, Feeling my God. It's going to come out even God. harder, so. Feeling the heat. So, I think before we send this episode completely, we need to go up to the garage and move this sucker up the list. That, to me, is a... Real good moment. It's a big moment. Symbolic, man. So. It's a big moment for me. Let's do that. Yep. You're erasing three numbers today. Ooh. Not often people get to erase three numbers. Gosh, dang. All right, let's go do that. All right. Yep. Well, it is time to get Rick in the three club. So Rick was way down here. Rick Mav. This is back when we did the three RWI. Unfortunately, we did not run it when it was regular stage five oversight by us. But she's going to be making some leaps. Gonna leap right past Doug's YXZ as well. We're getting there. Come on, Doug, use that power. It's gonna, oh, be, yeah. gonna be a really enjoyable video. I'll probably just skip through all of it anyway. Yeah. Jump the gun a bit here. All right. Three. Uh, three. Ninety-three. Unbelievable. Tough break, Doug. By the way. Shifting. Hey, man. Not mad about it. You know the YXZ. She's got a lot more in her, but she's broke. So. It's all in the group. Can't, uh, can't defend your honor when you're broke. That's a good point. I mean, what's crazy Heck about yeah, this dude. is we're just talking super stage six, and this is, you know, drag mode. Knock it on the door, man. I mean, that is... With the pop pop. Ripping. With the pop pop and uh, those other future modifications we were talking about. Should help it all a little bit, we'll see. Gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Well, nice job, man. That's yeah. super cool. Maybe right. can we get like a like a bro fist or like a shake handshake moment, maybe? Okay, okay, like, okay. For taking my there spot we go. on the list. There we go. <laughs> I see how it is. I see how Rick's it is. number three, you know, dude. I don't think I don't think that's gonna last long, but you know. Respect. Here we are. So <laughs> if there wasn't a spinal on your differential last time you went out, you would have beat him. No excuses. We're not in the business of making excuses. No, that's like that's super fast. That's wicked for a full trail 72 inch X3. Like that's yeah. incredible. So. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, Rick, for putting on a good show and just Boom. owning a good machine. It's a good unit, and, guys. Uh, you know, being around to let us do this stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Evolution Power Sports as well. You know, love uh, love what you guys Boom. do. Really turn these things into rockets. Just make them different machines. So, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We absolutely have a blast doing this. Like this is super fun, and we wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. That helps us tremendously in terms of being able to bring this content to you. Thank you to everyone who donates on Patreon. Thank you to everybody who's buying parts off the parts site, whether it's Evolution or you know any of the uh, number of other things we sell. Like That supports everything we do here. So thank you guys so much. We'll be back in a couple of days with uh, some more cool stuff. We'll be back in a little bit with more cool stuff on this machine. And I think there's a little, you know, there's a- uh, Scrambling. There's, there's a little war for the top building here. Things are going to get interesting. So stick around. We'll see you guys here uh, later this week. Glad to be a part of it.
Bonus clip. Well, not to be outdone by Rick. Since the field is so beautiful right now, we're gonna try to run the uh, Beast Mode X3. We swapped over a bunch of tires. We're back on the dirt tires. You know, she's coming off a high spot, hitting twos on the asphalt, so he said maybe she can better her number in the dirt today. Yeah, maybe it's time, so we'll see. We're just gonna play with it and see what happens. Neat. It is time. Beast Mode is on kill. It's this running is good. Go or blow mode. Hashtag Cletus. Okay, <laughs> did we add more boost? I don't know. I'm really excited about it though. Things are happening. People are doing them. Do Wind it. me up, Rick. Do it for Dale. Wind me up, Rick. He was out of the throttle quick. If that was 60 miles an hour, yeah. that could be a Dangerous real setup. tough number. Who doggy? Who <laughs> doggy? Beast mode's moving up. I could tell. 3.71. Okay. Nice. Okay. Almost okay. Nice. I think there's a lot more to be gained. Whew. But wow, like Dang. the tires are hard right now. I don't yeah. think they're even soft yet. I was about to ask what you got those things set at. Woo! It was it was, was an explosion. 371. That's fast. And uh, it got to the target boost right when it needed to get there. And well, it was weird being able to slow down and turn around way before the corner. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we both said. Is like uh, he seemed to let out of it pretty quick. <laughs> I let uh, out at sixty nine. So, jeez, man, three seventy one, man, really, really quick. So it did it one hundred eighty two feet. Zero to ten was point five one. So that really explains to you how hard Rick's car is hooking. Like his zero to ten was point four four. And leaving really good. Yeah, this is point five one. So yeah, three point seven one. If you want to check out the data. Well, uh, valid run, 371 on dirt, 182 feet. Uh, boy. So, not mad about that. You've improved your number with one single run. The yeah. question now is do you keep going? Absolutely, we keep going. We take that some was... air out of these tires, we go for the 360s. Yep. I'm coming for you, Steve. I see you <laughs> yawning over there. <laughs> I got like a whole other tenth to go. Let's do it, man. Let's fun. do it. She's got 360s in her. We're going to try. We'll do it. Honestly, I would put money on it. It's. Dude. It's ripping. Okay. All right, we're down to eight pounds on all four tires. What does that mean? Big adjustment. Ideally, that means we're making more traction, we're putting more power to the ground, and we're running a 359. Woo! <laughs> that would be something to see. Obviously, so, uh, that could be BS. I mean, the air is getting better, the traction's getting better, the machine's running hard. We kicked the loose dirt out of the lane, gave him the super prep. This is the run. This could be it, man. This is it. I'm hoping. I'm praying. I believe in you. Although we said that with mine, we said this is going to be it, and then it took like three runs for it to be it. So yeah. what I'm going to go ahead and call is that it's not going to be it, but two after this. If this is, is anything like trying to get into the twos, we'll get there about 37 runs from now. <laughs> Stand by. Yeah, way before. I noticed I got hit with a lot less dirt as well. Yeah. Like maybe it was spinning less. Oh, he's going again. He's going again. 373. Okay. Gosh dang, man. I mean, when you get to a point where you're going this fast, it's it's hard to go faster. You know, it's a lot easier to make, or a lot more difficult to make gains. The quicker you go. Oh, oh, it's hard to tell, man. It's hard to tell. Boy, goggles are off. OK. 
Okay, goggles are off. What does this mean? It's hilarious. Like, I think I'm gonna pay attention to something. Like, I gotta watch RPMs, I gotta watch boost, I gotta, uh, I can't see a dang thing. I mean, it's an intense experience when you're in there. I know. Like, 368. Just... Whoo! Nice. Nice work. Dude. Nice job, man. Knocking on the door of Steve Butterfield. <laughs> wow. <laughs> gonna put, yeah, just put a little bit of pressure on, which is always fun. It's always, yeah, it's always a good thing. Yeah, right. I mean, I know Steve's car is faster, but it's just putting it down out here is really, really tough. It's been long only at the top. I'm glad you got some company now. Denver's Things been are up there a long time. So yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Some competition. <laughs> exactly. Well, nice job, man. That is just smoking fast. I don't know if I want to push it anymore because I really feel like this thing needs an oil change. Right. Just gonna say it. And what we're really after here is getting everything, you know, fast dialed in for yeah. race day because that's really when it counts in our minds. So we so. can look at the data just to show you it's all verified. 181 feet. A point four nine to ten. I think that was that was part of the uh, reason it was so quick. And then yep. uh, three point six eight to sixty. Wow. But man, dang. What a rocket, dude. She's ripping. She is freaking ripping. I, like I really want to push it more, but I know the oil just smells like E eighty five, and that can't be good. Yeah. No, that doesn't lubricate very well. Yeah, it can't be good, right? What would be real bad right now would be to blow blow this <laughs> unit up. Yep. Given the timing, so. Yep. I feel your I feel your pain in this moment, but it's okay. I'm I just do proud to be amongst some of the fastest people that ever <laughs> touched ground in the field here. Shoo! Steve, still got me. That's all right. You did good. The three six <laughs> the three sixty club. It's uh. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, good job, dudes. Well, listen, we'll say thanks again to all the people for watching, buying, supporting on Patreon, whatever you do, you do it awesome. And uh, this whole hundred K sub thing has really just reinvigorated us to be like, this could really be something. Like when you find success in something that you really enjoy doing, you just really want to keep doing it. So thanks again for watching and all the stuff that you guys do. We'll keep pushing these machines, go or blow, Kalita style, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.